In this video, we're going to look at how to solve nonlinear simultaneous equations. Our first equation is y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. This is a quadratic function. Our second equation is y is equal to 2x minus 3, and this is a linear function. Since both of these equations are expressed with y as a subject, in order to solve them, all we need to do is to equate equation 1 and equation 2. This means that we take the right-hand side of both equations and make them equal. So we're going to get x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 3. This gives us a quadratic equation. So to solve this equation, we need to make the right-hand side equal to 0. So first, we're going to subtract 2x from both the left and the right. So this is going to get rid of the 2x on the right. We're also going to add 3 to both sides as well. And this is going to get rid of the negative 3 on the right, so that on the right-hand side, we have got 0. Now, simplifying the left-hand side, we're going to get x squared minus 4x is equal to 0. And to solve this, we're going to factorize out the x. So we have x times x minus 4 is equal to 0. Then using the null factor law, we can have either x is equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0. If x minus 4 is equal to 0, this means that x is equal to 4. Once we have got these two values for x, it doesn't mean we're done. What we need to do is to sub in these values of x into either equation 1 or equation 2 in order to solve for the corresponding y values. So let's start with x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, we're going to sub x is equal to 0 into equation 2. And this is because equation 2 is much simpler than equation 1. So for equation 2, we've got y is equal to 2x minus 3. If we replace the x with 0, we're going to get y is equal to 2 times 0 minus 3, and that's going to give us negative 3. So our first pair of solutions is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to negative 3. Now, when x is equal to 4, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sub x is equal to 4 into equation 2 as well, just because it's a simple equation. So we've got y is equal to 2x minus 3, our second equation. When we sub in x is equal to 4, we're going to get y is equal to 2 times 4 minus 3, and this evaluates to 5. So this means that when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 5. So let's try to understand our answers. Our first equation, y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3, is a quadratic function. And our second equation, y is equal to 2x minus 3, this is a straight line function. When we're solving them simultaneously, the solutions we get are actually the points of intersection of the two graphs. So our first solution that we got was x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 3. Now this corresponds to this point, 0, negative 3. That's the first point of intersection. And our second solution, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 5, corresponds to the second point of intersection, 4, 5. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Hope you guys found that useful. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please take a look at our channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We release videos weekly and we would love to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.